Hey Dunchbags, what's going on? It's Landon Remix here. And welcome back to the city of Landopolis, where we will be starting our new, er, my new, but somehow kind of old series, Dungecraft. And this is going to be kind of like a prequel thing. Sorry about the voice, by the way. I have kind of like, I don't know if it's a cold or what, but we are in the same building that we ended the finale off in. Actually, we might have not actually ended the uh, finale off in this building, but... We made this building during the finale of Landopolis, which was my last survival series. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. Um, the entire series is there. There's like 25 episodes. It was a weekly series I made, and we worked um, basically the entire time making this whole city. And I'm going to come down and talk because there's quite a bit I need to talk to you guys about and how things are going to work. Um, Dungecraft, I've been talking about it on the channel for like a really long time, basically since before I ended the last one off, which was, I, I think I just checked it, um, March, two, or, I almost said March 2011, yeah. March 11th, 2013, so that was, um, about five months ago, a couple days ago would have been five months, so it's a little over five months, I'm gonna start walking around, um, <clears throat> so there are lots of things we did in this world, and, um, there's hopefully lots more to come, and this is going to be the modded survival version of basically the same series. It's going to be focused on building, and um, but except this time, it's not going to be focused just on building the city, but also building like other cities. And um, I'm hoping this will be a long-running series because that's just how I want it to be. And if you guys really like it, then it will be that way. And unless you guys like don't dig the mods or whatever, then. This, oh, I thought that sheep was invisible. Uh, I'm just kind of walking around showing you guys what's um, what this kind of world used to be, or what it still is and what it's going to be. Um, we got to get some watermelons. Uh, there are lots of things I didn't get to do when it was still Landopolis. As you can see, the, uh, the wheat still hasn't grown in from last time. There are lots of things that I never got to do with this series that I really want to do, like um, make other cities, that, that was one of the major plans, but now that we're um, kind of out of that stage of building just Landopolis, of the, the regular city, because that was basically the point of the thing, it was to build a city and um, that would basically be the whole series, and that's what it ended up being, and uh, there's still lots more that I want to add on to this city, because this is going to be like the big city out of all of them, and then I'm thinking... A jungle city out in the jungle over there. I'm not sure how far in you can actually see. You can kind of see some jungle trees in the distance if you look out. A desert city because there's some sweet desert um, hills and mountains out there. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to read you guys off the mods I'm using and I'll kind of explain stuff. Um, when I was doing a test run, I might have been collecting some resources or something like a little while ago. I ended up getting a dog. But we are using the Doggy Talents mod, that's one of my mods, and I'm going to actually see if I can get a stick right now. It looks like I don't have anything in my chest. Okay, here's a stick. I'm going to see if I can actually, like, train this dog, and, uh, nope, I can't. So, I may just kind of keep that dog in here, because when you use the Doggy Talents mod, you get an actual dog, and, um, you get to name it and everything, and then it does cool tricks. And it never dies, so I, I'm not sure what I'll do with this one. I might just have it follow me around until it uh, passes away. That's a, a terrible thing to say, but with the Doggy Talents mod, um, you don't really need to tame a wolf. So the primary thing about this series is that I'm using more mods in this series right now. that I, <laughs> Mods that I don't even know how to use. I, I'm using more mods right now than, uh, than I've ever used at one time, that, which is... A total of 10 mods but on the splash screen it actually says 22 mods are installed plus optifine so that's 23 um but 10 primary mods and that's optifine not enough items which is um well you guys know about optifine it kind of reduces lag things like that not enough items that's gonna help me um let's say i wanted to look up something like uh for for a couple things uh i'm just gonna healies this is in this is the um from the armor movement mod, which I also have installed. I was going to do portal gun mod, guys, uh, since we're doing portal on the channel, but it just didn't happen. Like, uh, it hasn't been updated, so that might be something I add later if they update it, but for now, we can't do that. Uh, so, right now, I have not enough items on recipe mode, so that means it's just going to tell us how to make different items from each of the mods. Let's say I wanted to look up doggy charm. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually make it. You can 
doggy spawner. Um, yeah, you can't actually craft uh, this. You just spawn in with the uh, doggy charm. So once we use that, then it'll instantly. I'm trying to make not make this not an actual episode because that's kind of what it's looking like right now. But this is just me talking, kind of about what's gonna the, the plans with Dungecraft and kind of the announcement of uh, what's actually gonna happen. So. Uh, Doggy Towns, that's the, th the fourth mod in here. Uh, damage Indicators, I forgot to mention that. That's this thing you'll see in the corner, like when I look at the wolf, it'll show kind of a little picture. It'll show its paw. Um, that, that means if it's aggressive or not, I think. It says wolf on it. Um, I'll show you guys a little more about how that works. You might have seen it earlier where it said Fred or uh, Cow, I think, when we did that. But I'm just going to head over here and kind of... Uh, Sink, sink in the memories, I guess, and just kind of think about everything this series used to be. And, uh, yeah, it's all going to be back, which I'm really excited for, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this because it's going to be a big building series, and uh, we're just going to do a lot with it. And as you can see, it says JC, and it shows him walking around. Uh, this is JC's fish and chips. I'm not sure. I didn't actually make any fish and chips, I don't think. Oh, yeah, fish and bread. There we go. Um... The minimap mod, as you can see, that's in the corner right there. It's pretty self-explanatory. Minimap moves around. It's highly detailed. I think we can, like, make a larger map. What is it, C? No. No. <laughs> I didn't want to make a waypoint. Uh, it's some kind of key. Oh, let me check this. Uh, yeah, I have no clue how to, like, get the big map. Because there's a bigger map that you can use, and that kind of helps you navigate. But we're not going to use that right now. Um, let's go into Steve's Wares and Blacksmith Shop. This is one of the future plans I want to do. There's a real easy way to just mine through this wall and make it so... Uh, I wanted to show you guys this. This is probably what we'll be, we'll be working on the first episode because it's fresh on my mind. You can actually put a dispenser right here and then just do a couple things with the redstone and make it so it automatically relights itself. That was a thing in like uh, 1.5, but I never actually switched it over because I didn't think there was an easy way to do it. And uh, down here, I don't think, yeah, we never actually finished the enchantment shop. So there's still a lot in the city we have to complete. And um, that's just kind of the primary thing. Uh, or for the first few episodes, that's going to be the primary thing. And as you can see, I'm just relighting everything here. When In the future, I'll be able to um, just hook that up. And that'll be in the first episode. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention this. The first uh, episode is probably going to be recorded um friday and i'm hoping for a saturday release or something because i'm gonna put a lot of time into these videos uh right here wow this i worked hard on this <laughs> i remember uh steakhouse geez employees only i'm gonna just so many fond memories with this series it, i don't i can't believe i let that all well i didn't really necessarily let it go but just kind of um raw beef potatoes i'm gonna Get some raw beef out. <laughs> oh, the memories. Oh, it's so cool to be back in this world and it's already cooking. I should get a couple more raw beef just to, um. Oh, do I not have any? I guess I don't have any more raw beef. Let me, let me load it back up. Yeah, there's not any more raw beef. I'll just, I'll just keep it in there. Um, looks like I'm gonna need to refill it though soon. Oh, crap. Don't come. Oh, my freaking word. Get back in there. Butler, or whatever your name is. Good <laughs> not butler, I meant waiter. Stupid. Uh, I think you're waiter. Yeah, this is the, the steakhouse restaurant we made a while ago. I'm just uh, rolling through the memories right here. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping to record the, the first episode of Dungecraft on Friday, and I hope for a Saturday release. This will probably be uploaded on Tuesday, the same day I'm recording it, so you guys can see it. And if you're wondering about uploads the next couple days, um, I'm going to be at camp, so that's going to be kind of an issue, but... I'll be hopefully really refreshed from that, and I'll be able to record uh, Dungecraft as soon as I really can. So, like I said, this isn't an actual episode, it's more just like a prequel to what's actually happening. Um, armor movement mod, if you're wondering, that's the that's what the Heelys thing was from. You can make jetpacks, you can make i I'm gonna actually look at that up right now, because I'm curious about the recipe. Uh, jetpack. Okay, here it is. We make it by, oh wow, you have to have a glider. Um, I'm going to learn how to make that real quick. Yeah, we're gonna, definitely going to need to go to the nether. So glider is basically, I think you can just like climb up a tree and glide off it. Uh, basically just short stuff. You can kind of just 
<laughs> Gly. I don't know what else to say about that. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to make a jetpack. It runs on coal, I think, but it's basically like a flying thing. So if I wanted to work on something like really high up, it's it'd be a lot easier to use a jetpack rather than uh, some, something else. Dynamic lights mod. If I had a torch, I'd show you guys an example. But basically what that is, is you can hold the torch instead of... Um, just placing them down like this let's say uh, uh, we were walking in the dark I could just hold a torch and then it would light things up around me like an actual torch rather than like the regular games torches where it would just um oh what the heck uh that's weird I don't think that was an enderman that did that I'm pretty sure I did it but I don't know why anyway that's weird I, I should have fixed that earlier um I think that was one of my villagers escaped so uh, I'm hoping to make this into more of a city this will probably be an actual like boulevard or what however you want to say it with lots of more sh shops and like a town hall at the end uh, I'm hoping to just expand this city and then make like I said a jungle city and a, a desert city uh, back up the mods list diamond and oh here's a torch I could show you guys an example but I really don't want to cheat and make it night when it's not night Anyway, basically what it does is you can, if you have a torch in your inventory, you can hold it and then uh, and then it'll light up around you like a real torch. Um, inventory tweaks. I'm going to actually use that right now. I think, yep, there we go. Um, oh, crap. What the? I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. <coughs> anyway, basically what it does is you press R and then it just organizes everything you have. See, like this. And let's say I have a sword in my inventory. This is, this is making up for all those mod reviews I said I was going to do, but then never actually did. Um, dang it. I want to organize the chest. Let me... Okay, this is... I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I'm going to delete jetpack off that so you guys don't have to keep looking at the jetpack every time. Yeah, like I said, I have it on recipe mode instead of uh, other mode. More tools. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna show you guys an example of that. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna find out how to make the invisible armor. Actually, is it lagging? Okay, here we go. Invisible helmet or invisibility helmet. I guess iron and a diamond. Uh, is this like an invisible block here? Iron ingots and a diamond. Yeah, basically it's just iron and diamonds, and then you can be like completely invisible. That's basically so you can be invisible without the um, without using potions. There we go. I, I was thinking of the wrong word there. Anyway, this dog probably isn't gonna stay with us very long, but I was hoping it could. But that was before I realized I was gonna actually use the doggy talents mod. I'm gonna head up here and read off the last couple things. More tools, basically. Most of it is just like it describes more tools um i'm gonna collect obsidian as soon as possible maybe on the first episode maybe on the second and uh just make obsidian tools because those are they basically last like five times longer than diamond and i want to use something that'll be long lived without um actually wasting diamonds when i could use diamonds for other important stuff like i don't know <laughs> for mining obsidian there we go I think you can mine obsidian with obsidian too so that'll be nice and uh, obsidian stuff's kind of OP but still uh, timber mod let's go actually show you guys that right now um, I wanted to check something anyway because someone that I'm watching is using a timber like mod I'm not sure if it's actually the timber mod but it like takes longer to cut down trees I'm not sure about the timber mod yet I know I did a review of that you guys might remember that I also did more tools on uh, mod island and that series kind of came to an end pretty quick because everything just went wrong in that episode. Um, I'm going to head out here and show you guys that last mod and what it does. Basically, like, let's say there's a large tree here um, and I don't want to go through and cut the whole thing. I basically just do that and everything just comes down. And it makes everything so much easier. Like even the wood that you wouldn't normally be able to get, uh, it all comes down with the tree um, rather than just staying up there and that's like the best part about this uh this mod i think did it take any damage i'm not sure if it actually did but um anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this kind of short little recording uh look forward to dungecraft i'm super excited to record it and i hope you guys are excited to see it so um anyway lots in store uh horses 1.6 stuff stuff that never even existed before uh 
before I ended it off last time. But hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you all later. And now you're going to die.